The full fix Fukushima Black Ops Index. Personal disclaimer, back history, the tools that we do have right now, what we or what can be done if attempted, what is possible, the logistics, what is a chapter two, tomography or weapon that could fire back at radiation, what is tomography, how could one fire back at radiation, robotic options and logistics of. Wouldn't it be nice if we could really fix the Fukushima reactor by taking out all of the radioactive thorium and crud through a hose or through the pipes without busting the reactor core? Well, in the past, I tried to convince the powers that be to give this type of idea a chance, and I hope that they started their own project. We have technologies right now to get into tight places via the pipe work. These are common examples. What we do with this our technology is clean out our piping systems. A lot of people wondered how you would get a Rado router to the reactor, and how you'd get all the equipment there. Well, I thought the answer was pretty clear. You start with a truck. A truck is a very robust piece of technology. Uh, it's very versatile and it has all of the types of equipment that you would want and need to go into that type of situation with. It's really, a truck is the closest thing we have in technology to a golem right now, and we do understand the computer and robotic controls of a truck very well. The additional bulk would help out a lot in cons the construction projects that you'd need to get to the Fukushima reactors. Give it robotic arms, you give it a masonry saw, pulley, uh, you call it a semi-utilized motor-operated robot, a sumo. So along with a more steady robotics platform, uh, this pr project could have uh, back logistics added. I'd like to also add that this robot type could work in synergy with all the other robot types that we have. This means that the robot could have many potentials for fail saves. The most important part of this design scheme is that you can add shipments to it, meaning that you can expand the system. This can be used to add additional pinch points for power. By doing this, you can ultimately chain this all the way out through conventional means off-site if you want. Getting the router router into the reactor on, the con on a controlled basis, uh, and once you're there, there are multiple systems that you could work off of the off of the lead truck which you could use to do multiple things. Of course, the most difficult part, most dangerous part, is going to be getting the Rado router into the reactor to get at the stuff that's in storage. But once you've done that, the equipment on the truck should be able to passively let material go into storage, and it should be able to also suck material out of the reactor under vacuum through the equipment in the lead truck and it should be able to inject material into the reactor from the lead truck. Also you could put a lot of fail safes into a truck that you could not put on a regular robot but you could take and put a large number of conventional robots onto a truck fully supported. Now I'm going to talk about radio tomography and how it works with Fukushima. Normally when you send out a cell phone call it gets routed back. And sometimes when radioactive particles are decaying, they can be picked up on cell phone towers too. Now this is used in a process called radio tomography, where they figure out where the radioactive stuff is from those clicks through statistics. If it had a lot better statistical model, you might be able to pin down where more of these are. You might be able to do that with a cell phone. I don't know. But if you were to find out exactly where the particles were, you could send rays back how you'd fire back at Fukushima. Uh, and you'd, uh, be able to, if you couldn't do this, at least send a bunch of robots to find out exactly where it is and possibly collect it. If you had something simple, like a little vacuum robot or something like that, you could send a huge number of these dumb things out to Fukushima 
to clean up the sites that are too lethal for a human to get to and have them go into a truck, dump off their load. Uh, and once they do that, you could have uh, the truck picked up, taken to wherever you're planning on taking it, and you'd be done with that problem. Or you could even filter it there. Yeah, I realize it's a little silly to think that these robots can get there. If you want to ask me about this or ask me about anything, please ask me at GeneralGambleOnYouTube.com or the Facebook Let's Fix Fukushima. Thanks.